We're going to host a series of short YouTube videos which demonstrate typical workflows that we use in Fiji for image processing. In this first video, we're going to work through how to get Fiji set up on your computer. To do that, you're going to want to Google search for Fiji. That's pretty straightforward, but if you Google search only for Fiji, you'll get hits for the country rather than the processing program. So if you add an image J at the end, you'll get to the right link. Clicking through here will get you to the download location, and you can down once you've downloaded that file, you'll get a zip file here that we have on the desktop. You want to extract that using whatever program you prefer. So if I right click on that, I can click extract all. That process gives me a folder here that has Fiji installed. Okay. So if you click into that folder and you go through the Fiji app, this image J win 64 is the program that you want to run. Double clicking that will actually launch Fiji. Now we have only two things to set up to get Fiji into a usable state for us pretty quickly for specifically the things that we want to do. And to do that, what you're going to want to do is um, pull up help and go to the update site. So this is where all of the updates for Fiji are hosted, not only Stowers, but from across the world. So if I click help, update, this is what we'll work through and read from a series of web websites for updates. And I'm saying right now I'm up to date, so that's fine. I'm going to click manage update sites. And this brings up a list of all possible host locations. I'm going to scroll down to Stowers, which is right there. Once I click that checkbox, I now counterintuitively click Close. And you'll see this window is now populated with a whole host of plugins that we're going to install. Clicking Apply Changes will go through and install all of those plugins. At the end of this, you notice that Fiji tells me it's updated successfully and to restart image J. This is exactly how Fiji handles updates all the time. So once I close it, I can now go back into my folder, relaunch the executable, and I'll get Fiji back. And then we can check quickly for all the plugins that we've installed. To do that, you go through the menu of plugins, you scroll down, you find Stowers, and you now notice that we have a bunch of different plugins that we can use. Okay, the last setting that we want to do, since we're going to be using a lot of fluorescence data, we're going to want to make sure that our background for processing is set to black. To do that, we're going to go through Process, Binary, Options, and we're going to make sure that black background is selected. In this case, it is, so we just click OK. That sets up Fiji for all the plugins that we're going to use, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.